Today's story is called Get Up, Lazarus. There you go. Get up. Come on, buddy. Look up at the top picture there. Does somebody look like they're sick in bed? Yeah. Lazarus is very, very, very sick. So first we're going to get started here. Our memory verses today, repeat after me. Jesus said to her, Jesus said, said to her, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. And the life. And the life. The one who believes. The one who believes. In me. In me. Will live. Will live. Even though they die. Even though they die. So what do you think that means? The resurrection means to rise from the dead. What well, do you think uh, Jesus is telling us? When you die, you go to either God. heaven or hell. When you die, if you believe in Jesus, you'll go to heaven and live with Jesus. That's what he's saying. If you believe in me, even though you die, you will live. He's letting us know that this isn't all there is. There's life after death. If you believe in Jesus Christ, by golly, you'll be ended up one day with Jesus in heaven. How's that sound? When I'm super old, I'll live with Jesus. That's right. You want to mm -hmm. wait till you're old, though. You want to be uh, live a good, healthy, old age, and then you can just rest with Jesus. Uh, I was mean Jesus could go on a water slide. Wouldn't that be great? We could have fun with Jesus. So the big idea is Jesus is more powerful than death. Jesus was good friends with Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Lazarus. So up there is Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. He often spent time at their house visiting them. One day Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, but he did not go to him right away. It didn't seem to make any sense, but Jesus did it so that God would be glorified. Well, we'll find out why Jesus didn't go right away and how that could possibly glorify God. A man named Lazarus was very ill. So sick, people thought he was dying. Have you ever known somebody who was so sick, you weren't sure if they were going to make it? Mm -hmm. his, well, know. his sisters, Mary and Martha, Saul, One even... One I was so sick. Yeah, sometimes you probably feel like you're going to die, you're so sick. But... His sisters, Mary and Martha, saw even doctors were not worth trying. They realized that even it wasn't even worth their while to get a doctor in there to look at him. Yet, one they knew of could still help was, who do you think was the one they were going to call to help? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, the Messiah and Master. If only he'd come to Lazarus' side, their reason for hope would be vaster, which means much greater. So look at them. Look, do they look sad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They look also concerned. They're worried, aren't they? Mm -hmm. When somebody's sick, has anyone ever looked at you with concern? Mm -hmm. Like if you're not feeling well, they look at you like, oh, what can I do to make them feel better? Hmm. Actually, no. No. <laughs> you no, Jack, no, you're telling me that when you've been sick, your mama doesn't look at you with concern. I know, unless I just don't remember. So Mary and Martha sent Jesus a message. They hoped he'd answer it quickly. But the messenger walked an entire day while Lazarus grew more sickly. So they sent somebody to go talk to Jesus. Back then, they didn't have telephones. They didn't, they didn't have cell phones. They didn't even have telephones. They want a messenger. A messenger would be somebody who would go from place to place and give a uh, message. Not even iPods. Not even iPads. Uh, so, can you come baby call someone on your iPad? That would be like, say, I had to give Pappy Doug a message out at the office, but I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't have a, a landline, a phone. I had no way to contact him, so what do you think I'd have to do? Walk over there. Walk over to the office. Back then, they didn't even have cars. Oh, Wait, what, when you were No, no. <laughs> what, when I was little? Yes, we had cars when I was little. <laughs> Back then in the biblical times, they didn't have cars. What's biblical? Back in the Bible times, back in, when the Bible was written, they would have like maybe horses or donkeys. Got the cows. Cows. Let's That's just ride on a cow. What's Wait, that? Are these true stories? These here were written in the Bible. So these, these stories, yeah, Jesus actually raised this man from the dead. 
I didn't believe that till now because I didn't know these were real. Yeah, a lot of these stories are real. Now, some of the stories in the Bible are told for lessons to learn, but some of them are real. So I never knew these were real. No, and they even talk about certain people. I... So they're talking about Mary and Martha. They're talking about Lazarus. But some of the stories Jesus told Abby. weren't really real. They were for learning purposes, Abby. but this one is. But how do people know these stories? Uh, people used to write the stories, and people used to hear from God back then, too. Huh? Prophets. There was prophets who would hear from God, and God would tell them certain things. And Are then when, when Jesus was born, and when Jesus was alive and walked the earth, a lot of people saw Jesus. So, the, look, a lot of people would have witnessed this. So that's how it would be like, you know, in a newspaper where people tell a story. And the reason they can tell that story is there was witnesses to see. So people saw Jesus heal people. People saw Jesus raise this man from the dead. Now today, we don't see those type of miracles typically today. But there are today where somebody who we thought was going to die, the doctors can't understand it, but they get better. Or there's certain times that... God did it. God did it, yes. God uses doctors to heal, but God is the ultimate healer. So we have to remember that. And Jesus. And Jesus, yes. The weary messenger. But I know that story where Jesus is touching them and but, they feel better. Yes, he would go like this, and if they were really sick, all of a sudden they'd be well. Well, they didn't need doctors back then because Jesus was go. Well, Jesus couldn't be everywhere all the time, so... They needed doctors, but Jesus oh. went around and healed people who the doctors couldn't help. The weary messenger saw Jesus at last. Look at him. Do you see what he's looking? Mm -hmm. Look at this, Jack. He's like, you're, like he needs to get a hold of him. He's like panicked almost looking. He's got to get this message to him. He was preaching and teaching forgiveness. As the disciples made way, the man managed to say that the sisters had sent him on business. Look at everybody looking at him. It's like, what's he got to say? What's he doing here? <laughs> and he's like, oh, he's feeling better, yay! <laughs> we'll see. The man spoke, Lord, a beloved friend is sick and is probably dying. Worry not, said Jesus. This isn't the end. Although there may be much crying, it's not time for me yet to go to his aid. In this sickness, God's son will gain glory. So they waited two days, and then Jesus said to Lazarus, let us now hurry. So why do you think Jesus would wait two days to go see Lazarus? Um, for maybe a miracle will happen that day. He let... Lazarus died. Why do you think he let him die? So he could go to heaven. Well, let's think of another thing. If he let da Lazarus die, if he didn't go heal him right away, what would be the bigger miracle? For him to heal him while he was still alive or for him to raise him from the dead? Raise him from the dead. Raise him from the dead. For him to say, this man was once dead, but I brought him back to life. That would be a, something to witness. That would be a real story. It's a real story. Mm-hmm. So now Jesus has waited the two days before Why they, would he want to do it that way? So he would bring God glory to show that Jesus, that God can raise somebody from the dead. Oh. Yeah. It's one thing to heal someone. It's another thing to actually bring them back to life. That would be cool. Yeah. And one time he wanted me back to life. Mm -hmm. But no one wants to come, come back to life after this is gone. Well, yeah, that's true. Then you'd think, you'd, heck, I want to be with God, huh? I will say I could never, uh, I would never have to die and never have to get old. Uh, well, that would be great if you could just stay young for the rest of your life. I would love that. Before they arrived, Jesus took them aside, saying, Lazarus is already sleeping. So he's saying that Lazarus is already dead. But they didn't get what Jesus meant and said, sleep is no cause for weeping. They think he's talking about he's just asleep, like you, when you go to bed at night. Then Jesus said, you don't understand. He died. 
By himself he won't waken. I'll go to him now and I'll show you how to trust that you won't be forsaken. So Jesus is saying, okay, Lazarus has already died, but guess what? I'm coming. To save him. Yep, I'm coming. He's coming. Jesus is a coming, but a Lazarus a still, Jesus had tears in his eyes because Lazarus was still his friend, and he knew that everybody was upset. Let's listen. When Jesus arrived at Bethany town, Martha ran swiftly to meet him. Lord, said she, if you would have been with me, Lazarus' life wouldn't have left him. So she's saying, Lord, you're too late. Why didn't you come when we first asked you to come? To find out that. But I know even now, Martha announced, that God will grant your request. With a smile, he said, you are correct. Your brother will rise from his rest. Know that I am the life for all who believe. For them, death will be overcome. Martha said, Lord, I believe it is true. You are the Christ, God's own true son. So right here, Jesus is telling us, for all who believe, death is not the end. Jesus has overcome death. Yes. Yep. He, that's why we go to heaven when we pass on from this earth. Jesus has overcome death for all who believe. The sisters and Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus, dead for four days. So he's been in that tomb for four days. If somebody's in a tomb for four days, do you think it smells good in there? No. No, he was dead for four days in a tomb. In sadness, Jesus wept for his friend. His love was on open display. So Jesus still wept. He still cried. But look at this. Jesus told the people to remove the stone. When somebody was put in there, they would put a stone over top, over front of the doorway. Jesus told people to remove the stone that blocked the door to the tomb. Scared of the stench, remember I said it would smell in there? Stench is stink. Scared of the stench, they rolled it away and stared fearfully into the gloom. They're thinking, oh no, it's going to stink in there. Do I want to see this? Do I want to see a dead man in here? No. Jesus prayed to his Father for all to believe that he was God's son, the true king. In a powerful voice, he called into the tomb, Lazarus, come out now, be seen. So he's telling him, come on out, come on. Wrapped up in cloth from the tomb walked Lazarus, the man who had died. Lazarus lived because of God's love. Jesus' friend was now at his side. Not long after this, Jesus hung on the cross and died to forgive all of our sin. The third day Christ rose, like Lazarus had, so to heaven we may rise like him. In heaven he reigns, while in glorious strains, saints sing with the angels above. By faith in God's Son, we are given a home, a new life of forgiveness and love. So now we may shout with the heavenly crowd the good news that Martha knew well, Jesus is the Christ, God's great sacrifice of his story forever will tell. So Jesus died on the cross so that we might have eternal life and that like all of our sins. Story. What's that? I like that story. Yep. He, took, he took care of us. Jesus took care of us on the cross. All we have to do is believe in him. And any time we feel that we're in trouble or we need help, who do we turn to? God. God. Uh, or Jesus. God. Or Jesus. And we can pray to him. Okay. It's time to pray. We thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice so that even though we will die one day, you will bring us back to life to live with you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And listen to this. Just like Lazarus was wrapped in grave clothes, let's wrap Pappy Doug from head to toe in toilet paper. So I'm going to get out. We're going to get the piano bench. Have your Pappy sit there. I'm going to get each of you some toilet paper. We're going to wrap him up like he's in uh, grave clothes. How's that sound? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll go get Pappy. Go get Pappy.